What's up YouTube, Zombie Killer here, reviewing Richie's Plank experience for the um, PSVR. This is not the, the Vive review. I might end up doing a review on the Vive version, we'll do later. But it won't be anytime soon, but you know, we'll do it <laughs> probably. But anyways, this, I don't know why the song's not playing, but oh well. There's a little music that I have in the background. But anyways, what this game showcases is the plank version. This is the maximum board plank. There's some birds in the background. And you just walk off the plank. Yay, dead. And then, you're alive again. You can adjust your height change the size of the plank to make it really small which I'm going to demonstrate right now the smallest that can go if you get this game you could adjust the size to whatever you like but also I'm gonna dis disable falling off the plank so that way I'll show you something that's funny to look at. And also showcase the feature of not falling. But as you see, if you disable it, you will get the full walking length of the maximum size plank. And then if you enable it again, you can just drop straight down to the ground. Whee! Alright, and that showcases what that does. Alright, and now for the only other option that's available in the PS VR version. There's more available in the Vive version. So this review is PS VR only. But as you see, you could put out fires and then turn to these flying gauntlet things and fly around. And your task is to knock out fires. There's about 10 to 15 fires. Once you complete it, you'll get a congratulations. You did it thing. And then you can continue flying well. That's all that this game. But at, what you can do is after doing the first fire, just ignore the rest and fly around the city for fun. There is a maximum fly height which I will demonstrate and when you got these flying things there's no fall damage so you can hit the ground without being reset but here's maximum fly height and where you see those mountains they are all um, the barrier limits for this town so you can't go out over there over there or anything you're stuck in this town area there's a little smiley face thing there spaceship thing there which is the most interesting thing to look at around the map the rest are just your standard buildings there's nothing special hidden or anything so future updates to add more to the city would be very much appreciated and help make this game worth its um, $15 in US price and $20 in Canada price currently as it stands, I would not say that this was worth $15 in US because as it stands currently, there's too little stuff to do. Now the Vive version, a lot more to do, so that might be worth it. I would say probably if you're interested in flying around a whole lot around the city, or if you're interested in jumping off planks or watching somebody else that's afraid of heights to do either one of these you know it could be some fun this is more of a casual VR game that you know you could showcase to somebody to demonstrate some VR to them there are some better games I would say but cool prop cool um concept for the game itself so you know it could be a good you know, pull out to a friend to introduce them to VR game. I think that's where this would excel the most at in PSVR. 
but as far as a game to play a lot of on a repeated basis I would probably not say so as you see you can't even interact with cars you just fly right through them and stuff so now it's time for the full review part as it stands $15 it's pretty big price for it and you know it went through everything in less than a half hour and get bored I do have a let's play where you can see me fly around the city and stuff so if you do want to see that you could check it out and but to be honest not really too much to do they need to add more in my opinion if they want to justify the $15 because as it stands there's more games that you could get if you're interested in having fun watching somebody jump from high heights or fly around the city, it might be worth picking up. Otherwise, it's a complete pass. I would say though, it's probably best to wait for a seal, because I would probably value this game at maybe about five bucks at most. You know, there are some very good five dollar games that can blow this game out of the water, unfortunately. So I would probably put more closer to five dollars in US. But you know, it's still fun to fly around the city. It's cool feeling like you can fly around the whole city. You could pretty much pretend like you're Superman or something. But you know I probably would not be able to recommend this game at full price on PSVR. Five is a different story. There's a lot more content. But hopefully they do updates to this game. If they do enough good updates and add more stuff to this place, it can easily have a chance of being worth that money. But unfortunately, as it stands, it doesn't really feel like it justifies its purchase. And the PSVR. Now it would be awesome if they added more stuff like I said but as it stands I would probably say pass or wait for a huge seal on the game. But if you still want to get it full price it can be a fun party game but I would probably wait for the seal. But anyways that's the end of this review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It was helpful. You know, it can be a fun game, but you know, needs more stuff to justify. It's my ending verdict. Wait for a sale or don't buy in general is my depending on whether or not these concepts interest you. If you want a hardcore game for VR, this is not it. Stay away. It's more of a beginner or introduction to new people game. And all it got is the fun of flying around the city and jumping off a plank to really, you know, keep you playing. And that's about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys on the next video.